There was a man named David who worked as a night guard at a factory known to be haunted. Every night, when his shift began, the atmosphere around the factory grew increasingly eerie. Strange noises could be heard, and unseen figures darted between the old machinery. One night, as David was patrolling around the factory, he heard footsteps in the dark corridor. However, when he turned around, there was no one there. David tried to brush it off, thinking it was just his overactive imagination. But as time went on, strange occurrences became more frequent. Equipment in the factory would often move on its own without any clear explanation. Even some of the other night shift workers began to mysteriously disappear. One night, during his routine patrol, David stumbled upon a room that had previously been locked, but was now open. He cautiously entered, and inside, he found an old diary containing notes about horrifying experiments conducted in the factory. David was shocked and terrified. What was really happening in this factory? And did the discovery of the diary have anything to do with the mysterious events occurring at night? As David delved deeper into the eerie happenings at the factory, he discovered more unsettling truths. The diary he found belonged to a former scientist named Dr. Jonathan Wells, who had conducted inhumane experiments on human subjects in the factory's hidden laboratories. The experiments detailed in the diary were grotesque and horrifying. Dr. Wells had been obsessed with unlocking the secrets of the human mind, pushing the boundaries of science and morality. His subjects suffered unimaginable pain and torment in the name of progress. As David continued his investigation, he encountered strange phenomena that defied explanation. Shadows seemed to move on their own. Whispers echoed through the corridors, and the feeling of being watched became constant. Some nights, he swore he saw figures in the darkness, but they vanished when he tried to approach them. The other night shift workers grew increasingly uneasy, and whispers of a curse haunting the factory spread among them. David tried to piece together the puzzle, uncovering hidden passages and forgotten rooms where Dr. Wells had conducted his gruesome experiments. One particularly chilling discovery was a series of old photographs depicting the tortured faces of Dr. Wells' subjects. Their eyes bore a haunting desperation, as if pleading for release from their suffering. As David delved deeper into the factory's dark past, he couldn't shake the feeling that something malevolent lurked within its walls. The line between reality and nightmare blurred, and he feared that the horrors of the past were manifesting in the present. As David continued his exploration of the factory's dark secrets, he began experiencing vivid and terrifying nightmares. In these dreams, he would find himself trapped in the laboratory of Dr. Wells, surrounded by the anguished cries of the scientists' tortured subjects. The line between David's waking hours and his nightmares started to blur. He would hear whispers echoing through the factory, calling his name in chilling tones that sent shivers down his spine. The shadows seemed to grow more sinister, taking on shapes that resembled twisted versions of human forms. One night, as David was inspecting an abandoned wing of the factory, he stumbled upon a hidden chamber. Inside, he found a collection of journals written by Dr. Wells detailing his descent into madness and obsession with immortality. According to the journals, Dr. Wells believed that by harnessing the fear and suffering of his subjects, he could unlock the secret to eternal life. He conducted horrifying rituals and experiments, sacrificing countless lives in his quest for power.
David's fear and paranoia reached new heights as he realized the true extent of the evil that had permeated the factory. He couldn't shake the feeling that he was being watched by unseen forces, and his every step felt like a descent into madness. The other night shift workers began to disappear one by one, their fates shrouded in mystery. David tried to warn them of the dangers lurking within the factory, but his words fell on deaf ears as they dismissed his claims as mere superstition. As David delved deeper into the mysteries of the factory, he uncovered a hidden chamber deep underground. Inside, he found a grotesque altar surrounded by ancient symbols and human bones. It became clear to him that Dr. Wells's experiments had summoned something far more sinister than anyone could have imagined. As David stood in the underground chamber, a sense of dread washed over him. The air grew thick with an oppressive darkness, and he could feel a malevolent presence lurking just beyond his sight. The symbols etched into the walls seemed to pulsate with an otherworldly energy, sending chills down his spine. Despite his instincts screaming at him to flee, David pressed on, driven by a mixture of curiosity and fear. He carefully examined the altar, noticing dried bloodstains and sigils that hinted at dark rituals performed in the past. As he searched the chamber for any clues about what had transpired there, David stumbled upon a hidden compartment. Inside, he found a collection of ancient manuscripts written in a language he couldn't decipher. The pages were filled with cryptic illustrations and incantations that sent a shiver of dread down his spine. David's mind raced with questions. What had Dr. Wells unleashed with his experiments? Was there truly a malevolent entity lurking within the factory, feeding on fear and suffering? And most importantly, how could he stop it before it consumed everything in its path? Night after night, David continued his investigation, growing more paranoid and sleep deprived with each passing day. The factory seemed to come alive with unseen terrors, and he could no longer trust his own senses. Strange phenomena became commonplace. Machinery would malfunction inexplicably. Doors would slam shut on their own, and the temperature would fluctuate wildly. David knew he was no longer dealing with mere hauntings or superstitions. Something ancient and evil had awakened within the factory's walls. As he delved deeper into the ancient manuscripts, David uncovered references to a ritual known as the Rite of Ascendance. According to the texts, this ritual had the power to summon a being of immense power and grant its summoner untold abilities. With each revelation, David realized that he was not just a witness to the horrors of the past, but a key player in a deadly game of survival. The entity within the factory was growing stronger, fueled by fear and suffering, and it would stop at nothing to break free from its confines. As David unraveled the secrets of the rite of ascendance, he became consumed by a sense of urgency and dread. The ancient manuscripts hinted at a horrifying truth, that the ritual required a willing participant to offer themselves as a vessel for the entity's manifestation. Haunted by the disappearances of his colleagues and the growing malevolence within the factory, David knew that he had to put an end to the dark forces at play. But the more he learned, the more he realized the magnitude of the danger he faced. In his research, David discovered that the last known attempt to perform the rite of ascendance 
had ended in tragedy. Dr. Wells, driven by his obsession for power, had willingly sacrificed himself in a desperate bid to control the entity he had unleashed. The consequences were catastrophic, leading to the downfall of the factory and the disappearance of everyone involved. Armed with this knowledge, David knew that he couldn't allow history to repeat itself. He had to find a way to banish the entity before it wreaked havoc on the world beyond the factory walls. The ancient texts spoke of a series of artifacts scattered throughout the factory that were integral to completing the ritual. Each artifact held a piece of the entity's essence, and together they formed a gateway that could be used to bind or banish it. With newfound determination, David embarked on a perilous quest to locate these artifacts and prevent the rite of ascendance from reaching its culmination. But the entity was not content to remain passive, unleashing a barrage of nightmarish apparitions and spectral manifestations to deter David from his mission. Every step brought David closer to the heart of the factory's darkness. He encountered forgotten chambers filled with relics of Dr. Wells's experiments, faced off against vengeful spirits seeking retribution, and deciphered cryptic puzzles that guarded the artifacts he sought. But as he delved deeper, David also began to uncover fragments of his own past intertwined with the factory's sinister history. Memories long buried resurfaced, hinting at a connection between him and the entity that lurked within the shadows. As the boundary between reality and nightmare blurred, David realized that the key to stopping the entity might lie within himself. But to confront the darkness, he would have to confront the darkest corners of his own soul. As David delved deeper into the mysteries of the factory and his own past, he encountered visions and hallucinations that tested his sanity. The lines between what was real and what was a product of the entity's influence became increasingly blurred. One night, while searching for another artifact, David found himself in a dark, labyrinthine series of tunnels beneath the factory. The air was thick with a sense of foreboding, and the walls seemed to pulse with a malevolent energy. As he navigated the treacherous passages, David stumbled upon a chamber filled with ancient symbols and arcane markings. At the center of the chamber was a pedestal adorned with a glowing crystal. The next artifact he needed to complete the ritual. But as David reached out to grasp the crystal, a voice echoed through the chamber, chilling him to the core. It was a voice from his nightmares, a voice that whispered secrets of his past and the entity's plans for the future. The entity revealed that it had been manipulating events all along, using David as a pawn in its quest for freedom and power. It claimed to know everything about him, including the darkest secrets he had buried deep within his subconscious. Struggling to maintain his composure, David demanded answers. Why was he connected to the entity? What did it want from him? And how could he stop it before it consumed everything he held dear? The entity's laughter echoed through the chamber, mocking David's attempts to defy it. It taunted him with visions of his worst fears, forcing him to confront his inner demons in a nightmarish ordeal. But even as the entity tormented him, David refused to give in to despair. He clung to a sliver of hope, knowing that he had allies who believed in him and the strength to face whatever horrors awaited him. Armed with newfound resolve, David pressed on, determined to 
to unravel the tangled web of lies and deceit that had ensnared him. The final confrontation with the entity loomed on the horizon, and he knew that only by confronting the truth could he hope to emerge victorious. As David pressed forward in his quest to confront the entity and unravel the mysteries of the factory, he found himself facing increasingly sinister challenges. The entity's influence seemed to seep into every corner of his reality, warping his perceptions and testing his resolve. One night, while searching for the final artifact needed to complete the ritual, David stumbled upon a hidden chamber deep within the factory's bowels. Inside, he found a collection of ancient tomes and scrolls, each containing forbidden knowledge that hinted at the entity's origins and its insatiable hunger for power. The more David read, the more he realized the true extent of the entity's malevolence. It had existed for centuries, lurking in the shadows and feeding on the fear and suffering of humanity. Countless lives had been lost in its pursuit of dominion over the mortal realm. But amidst the despair and darkness, David also uncovered glimpses of hope. Prophecies and legends spoke of a chosen one who would rise against the entity. Armed with courage and purity of heart, could it be possible that David himself was the chosen one destined to vanquish the ancient evil? As he pondered this revelation, David encountered a series of trials designed to test his worthiness. He faced illusions and temptations crafted by the entity, each more cunning than the last. But through sheer determination and unwavering conviction, he overcame each obstacle, inching closer to his ultimate goal. Meanwhile, the factory itself seemed to rebel against David's intrusion. Machinery malfunctioned with increasing frequency. Spectral apparitions materialized in his path, and the very walls seemed to close in on him. But David refused to be deterred. Fueled by the knowledge that the fate of not just the factory, but the world itself, hung in the balance. As he approached the final confrontation with the entity, David could feel the weight of destiny bearing down upon him. The ancient tomes and prophecies spoke of a decisive battle that would determine the fate of all existence. Would he emerge victorious and banish the entity once and for all? Or would he succumb to the darkness and become its willing vessel. With courage and determination burning in his heart, David prepared to face the ultimate challenge, knowing that the outcome would shape the course of history itself. As David stood on the brink of the final confrontation with the entity, he felt a mixture of fear and determination coursing through his veins. The weight of his destiny bore down on him like a heavy cloak, and every step he took seemed to echo with the echoes of centuries-old prophecies. Armed with the knowledge he had gained and the artifacts he had collected, David ventured deeper into the heart of the factory. The air grew colder, and a sense of impending doom hung heavy in the atmosphere. The entity's presence loomed like a shadow, waiting to engulf him in darkness. But David was not alone. Alongside him stood a small group of allies who had joined him in his quest. Among them were survivors from the night shift workers who had witnessed the horrors of the factory firsthand and believed in David's mission to end the entity's reign of terror. Together, they faced a series of harrowing challenges as they navigated the labyrinthine corridors and chambers of the factory. 
the entity unleashed its full wrath upon them, conjuring nightmarish creatures and illusions designed to break their spirits. But through sheer grit and determination, they persevered, drawing strength from their shared purpose and camaraderie. As they approached the inner sanctum where the final ritual would take place, David felt a surge of apprehension mingled with a fierce resolve. The entity's influence grew stronger with each step, whispering dark promises and temptations into his mind. But David remained steadfast, his heart set on banishing the entity and putting an end to its reign of terror. He knew that the fate of not just his allies world itself rested on his shoulders. The final chamber was a macabre site, adorned with ancient symbols and artifacts of unspeakable power. At the center stood the altar where the ritual would be performed, the culmination of centuries of dark ambitions and forbidden knowledge. With bated breath, David and his allies prepared for the ritual knowing that the moment of truth had arrived. The entity's presence loomed over them like a dark cloud. Its malevolent gaze fixated on David, the chosen one destined to confront it. The stage was set for a showdown of epic proportions, where the forces of light and darkness would clash in a battle for the fate of the world. As David and his allies stood ready to confront the entity in the final ritual, tension hung thick in the air like a palpable fog. The ancient symbols on the altar seemed to pulse with a sinister energy, and the chamber echoed with an ominous silence that heralded the impending clash of powers. The entity manifesting as a swirling mass of shadows and whispers, taunted David and his allies with promises of power and immortality if they would only bow before it. But David remained resolute, his heart filled with determination to vanquish the ancient evil once and for all. With the artifacts gathered and the ritual preparations complete, David took his place at the center of the altar, surrounded by his allies who stood ready to lend their support. Each member of the group held a crucial role in the ritual, their combined efforts forming a barrier against the entity's dark influence. As the ritual began, ancient incantations echoed through the chamber their words carrying the weight of centuries-old magic. The artifacts glowed with a faint, ethereal light, channeling their power into the heart of the ritual. The air crackled with energy, and the very fabric of reality seemed to tremble. But the entity was not content to simply watch. It unleashed a barrage of spectral apparitions and dark manifestations, seeking to disrupt the ritual and claim victory. David and his allies fought valiantly, their resolve unshaken despite the overwhelming odds. The battle raged on, each side unleashing their most potent spells and abilities in a desperate bid for supremacy. The chamber became a battleground of light and shadow with the fate of the world hanging in the balance. In the midst of the chaos, David felt a surge of power welling up within him, fueled by his determination and the collective strength of his allies. With a mighty roar, he unleashed a wave of pure energy that clashed with the entity's dark forces, creating a shock wave that reverberated throughout the chamber. The intensity of the clash reached its peak, the very fabric of reality warping and distorting under the strain. 
the outcome of the battle remained uncertain, balanced on a knife's edge between salvation and oblivion. As the clash between David and the entity reached its peak, a surge of raw, magical energy exploded from the center of the ritual. The force of the impact sent shockwaves rippling through the chamber, shattering ancient artifacts and casting the combatants and their allies to the ground. For a moment, the chamber fell silent, save for the crackle of residual magic lingering in the air. David struggled to his feet. His vision blurred from the intensity of the battle as he looked around. He saw his allies slowly regaining their composure, their expressions a mix of determination and exhaustion. But the entity was not defeated. From the swirling darkness, it emerged once more, its form shifting and warping as it sought to regain control of the situation. It unleashed a barrage of dark energy, forcing David and his allies to take cover behind the remnants of the shattered altar. With no time to waste, David rallied his allies, calling upon their combined strength and determination. They knew that they had to find a way to turn the tide of the battle before the entity could unleash its full power and bring about untold destruction. Drawing upon the knowledge he had gained from the ancient texts and his own inner strength, David formulated a daring plan. He would channel the residual magic from the shattered artifacts and use it to create a barrier of pure light, a beacon of hope in the face of darkness. As his allies provided cover and distraction, David focused his energies, channeling the magic with all his might the chamber erupted into chaos once more as the entity launched a relentless assault. But David remained steadfast, his determination unwavering. Finally, with a surge of effort that left him drained but resolute, David unleashed the barrier of light. It shimmered and glowed with an otherworldly brilliance, pushing back the darkness and enveloping the chamber in a protective aura. The entity recoiled, its form writhing and contorting as it struggled against the barrier. David and his allies seized the opportunity, launching a coordinated counterattack with renewed vigor and determination. The battle raged on, each side refusing to yield an inch. The chamber echoed with the clash of powers a symphony of light and darkness that reverberated throughout the factory and beyond. But as the confrontation reached its climax, a new revelation emerged, a revelation that would shake David to his core and change the course of the battle in ways he never anticipated. As David and his allies continued their battle against the entity, a sudden shift in the energy within the chamber caught them off guard. The barrier of light that David had summoned began to flicker and wane, its brilliance diminishing as if drained by an unseen force. Confusion and concern spread among the group as they realized that something was amiss. The entity, sensing an opportunity, intensified its assault, launching a relentless barrage of dark energy at the weakened barrier. With every passing moment, the barrier grew weaker, and David struggled to maintain his focus amidst the chaos. He knew that if they couldn't find a way to reinforce the barrier or neutralize the entity's power, all would be lost. Drawing upon the fragments of knowledge he had gathered from the ancient texts, David frantically searched for a solution. His mind raced with possibilities, each more desperate than the last, as the entity's attacks grew more ferocious. Then, in a 
moment of clarity, David recalled a passage from one of the tomes, a forgotten incantation that held the key to unlocking untapped potential within himself. With a surge of determination, he began to recite the incantation, channeling his inner strength and magical prowess. As the incantation took hold, David felt a surge of power coursing through his veins, invigorating him with newfound resolve. The barrier of light regained its brilliance, shining with renewed strength and pushing back against the entity's onslaught. But the entity was not so easily defeated. It unleashed a final, desperate assault, pouring all its remaining power into a devastating attack aimed directly at David and his allies. The chamber trembled as the clash of forces reached its crescendo, threatening to tear reality apart at the seams. In a moment of selfless sacrifice, one of David's allies stepped forward, using their own magic to shield the group from the brunt of the entity's attack. The act of heroism bought them precious seconds, allowing David to gather his strength and unleash a counterattack of unparalleled magnitude. The chamber erupted into a blinding spectacle of light and darkness a clash of titanic forces that shook the very foundations of the factory. David and the entity locked in a fierce struggle, their powers colliding in a dazzling display of magical prowess. But as the battle raged on, a new revelation dawned upon David, one that would change everything he thought he knew about the entity and its true intentions. As David and the Entity clashed with titanic forces, a revelation dawned upon him. In the midst of the chaos and fury of their battle, he glimpsed fleeting memories. Memories that hinted at a connection between himself and the Entity that went far beyond what he had ever imagined. Visions flashed before David's eyes. Fragments of a forgotten past intertwined with the entity's dark history. He saw glimpses of ancient rituals, a pact made in desperation, and a bond forged in blood and magic. It was as if the threads of fate had woven their destinies together, binding them in a dance of light and shadow. But amidst the confusion and turmoil of battle, David couldn't decipher the full extent of the revelation. He struggled to make sense of the memories flooding his mind, each fragment adding another layer of complexity to the enigma that was the entity. As the battle reached its zenith, with both David and the entity locked in a fierce struggle for dominance, a voice echoed through the chamber, a voice that resonated with ancient power and wisdom. It was the voice of the entity, speaking directly into David's mind, revealing secrets long buried in the depths of time. The entity spoke of a prophecy, a prophecy foretelling a chosen one who would stand at the crossroads of light and darkness, wielding the power to reshape the world. It spoke of a destiny intertwined with the entity's own, bound by threads of fate that stretched across centuries. David's mind reeled at the implications of the prophecy. Was he truly the chosen one destined to confront the entity and bring balance to the forces that threatened to consume everything? Or was he merely a pawn in a grander scheme? manipulated by powers beyond his comprehension. As the voice of the entity faded, replaced by the sounds of their ongoing battle, David made a decision. He would embrace his destiny, whatever it may be. 
and confront the entity with all the strength and courage he could muster. With newfound determination, David unleashed a torrent of magic, unlike anything he had ever wielded before. The chamber shook with the force of his power, and the entity staggered under the onslaught. But just as victory seemed within reach, a new threat emerged. A manifestation of the entity's true form. A monstrous entity of pure darkness and malevolence that towered over them all. The monstrous entity, towering over David and his allies, exuded a palpable aura of terror and malevolence. Its form shifted and contorted, oozing darkness that seemed to swallow all light and hope. With a roar that reverberated through the chamber, the entity unleashed a devastating wave of dark energy, aiming to obliterate everything in its path. David and his allies braced themselves for the impact, their hearts heavy with the weight of impending doom. But in that moment of despair, a glimmer of hope emerged, a flicker of light amidst the encroaching darkness. David, drawing upon the depths of his newfound power and the collective strength of his allies, summoned a barrier of pure light to shield them from the entity's onslaught. The clash of light and darkness created a dazzling spectacle, illuminating the chamber with a brilliance that banished the shadows momentarily. For a brief moment, it seemed as though victory was within reach, that they had finally overcome the ancient evil that had plagued the factory for centuries. But the entity, fueled by its insatiable hunger for power and revenge, refused to yield. It launched a relentless assault its attacks growing more ferocious and unpredictable with each passing moment. As David and his allies fought valiantly, a sense of desperation hung in the air. The chamber shook with the intensity of their battle. Ancient artifacts crumbling and ancient runes pulsating with erratic energy. In a final, desperate gambit, David called upon the remnants of the artifacts scattered throughout the chamber, channeling their residual magic into a powerful spell aimed at the entity's heart. The spell struck true, piercing the entity's dark form with blinding light. For a fleeting moment, the chamber was filled with silence, a deafening silence that spoke of both victory and sacrifice. But as the echoes of their battle faded, a sense of unease settled over David and his allies. The entity's form wavered, its malevolent presence diminishing, but not vanquished. With a final defiant roar, the entity unleashed one last surge of energy, causing the chamber to collapse in on itself. Debris rained down around them as darkness consumed the remnants of the factory. As David struggled to maintain consciousness amidst the chaos, he realized that the battle was far from over. The entity may have been weakened, but it had not been defeated. Its darkness lingered, a haunting reminder of the horrors they had faced. And so, with heavy hearts and unresolved fears, David and his allies emerged from the ruins of the factory, knowing that their struggle against the ancient evil was far from over. The entity's shadow loomed over them, a lingering threat that whispered of future battles to come. As they made their way into the night, haunted by the memories of their ordeal, David couldn't shake the feeling that the true horror had only just begun.